Michael Lee. O'Hanlan of the Brookings Institution estimated that if Afghanistan generates about $10 billion per year from its mineral deposits, its gross national product would double and provide long-term funding for Afghan security forces and other critical needs. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, estimated in 2006 that northern Afghanistan has an average 2.9 billion BN barrels barrel of crude oil. 15.7 trillion cubic feet, 440 BNM3, of natural gas, and 562 million barrel of natural gas liquids. In December 2011, Afghanistan signed an oil exploration contract with China National Petroleum Corporation, CNPC, for the development of three oil fields along the Amud Arya River in the north. Other reports show that the country has huge amounts of lithium, copper, gold, coal, iron ore, and other minerals. The Kyanash in Carbonatite in Helmand province contains 1 million metric tons, 1,100,000 short tons, of rare earth elements. In 2007, a 30-year lease was granted for the Anak copper mine to the China Metallurgical Group for $3 billion, making it the biggest foreign investment and private business venture in Afghanistan's history. The state-run Steel Authority of India won the mining rights to develop the huge Hajigak iron ore deposit in central Afghanistan. Government officials estimate that 30% of the country's untapped mineral deposits are worth between $900 billion and $3 trillion. One official asserted that this will become the backbone of the Afghan economy and a Pentagon memo stated that Afghanistan could become the Saudi Arabia of lithium. In a 2011 news story, the CSM reported, the United States and other Western nations that have borne the brunt of the cost of the Afghan war have been conspicuously absent from the bidding process on Afghanistan's mineral deposits, leaving it mostly to regional powers.